Right. How unusual is it to have a bye week in the playoffs? Uh, you know, you haven't had, I don't think you've had that before. Uh, and, and you go from celebrating on Sunday to now kind of nitpicking and trying to improve what you all have done wrong during the season. Uh, is it kind of a record scratch moment as you try to prepare for this next step? It's different. Like you mentioned, I, I haven't had this opportunity before. Um, but it's a good opportunity for us to uh, to regroup mentally, regroup physically, clean up some things that um, you know we've done. You know, kind of regroup during the bye week, and then how to run the game. So we were able to kind of go go through those and um, and regroup a little bit, see what we like, see what we can build on, and clean up uh, as we move forward. Obviously, don't know you know who we're going to be playing next week, but uh, this week's about us and focusing on things that we can clean up, no matter who we play. Brian, do you do you feel like you've found your groove personally? You know, these last few games heading into the playoffs, do you feel like, you know, you've kind of gotten that that mojo back, maybe? Um, I mean, contrary to popular belief, I never felt like I, I lost it. You know, uh, I felt good all season, and and um, you know, I think we've done some good things here the last few weeks to uh, to kind of catch our stride a little bit. Um, excited about the momentum we've kind of gained over the past few weeks, and hopefully we can um, build on it, you know, as we move forward. When you look at the Texans game, that was probably your best of the year. Like, how do you go about rolling that confidence over and making sure that there's no layover as you have this time off? Yeah, we're focused. Obviously, um, there's a big opportunity to, like I said, regroup mentally, regroup physically. Uh, but all it is is an opportunity at this point, right? We have to be able to take advantage of it, do the things necessary we need to do to, to stay in condition, to, to get ourselves ready to play next week and, and really grow grow this week. So, yeah, we'll, we'll take a little bit of time away to, uh, to clear our minds. But um, I think everyone in that locker room is focused on the opportunity we have and the fact that it, it's not just going to happen. We're going to have to go out and earn it and, uh, you know, win, win by week. A team that's had so many injuries this year, how you have you've had the late regular season by the mini by after the 49er game and now the playoff by, how good has all that been to kind of get everybody healthy and ready to go? Yeah, it's been big for us. You know, we've been uh, been fighting that the whole year, just guys in and out of the lineup, and uh, you know, finally we're starting to get healthy, get some guys back, get some consistency with guys playing multiple games in a row, kind of finding our groove there. So. Uh, it's been huge for us uh, as we've come down this stretch, and and I believe we're going to take advantage of it this week to have some time to uh, to con continue to get healthy and get ready to go for next week. Brian Rabel had talked about uh, each player maybe taking one thing, you know, this week and and trying to work on it, you know, getting getting better at one thing. I wonder if he's, you know, passed that on to you as well, and if if there's kind of one thing that that maybe you're looking to to get better on, you know, during the during this off week and and kind of focus on. Yeah, we, we all have our, our things that um, we're trying to focus on. And um, it's not just the one thing that, that you know, we've kind of pinpointed. There's, there's a, a few different things that, as we looked at the tape and have kind of gone through, that, that I'm excited to, uh, to work on a little bit, you know, starting today at, at practice to, to go out there and, and, uh, and work some fundamentals, work some, some details on things. And, uh, you know, with the running backs, with, with being in the pocket, with uh, some timing with the wide receivers, you know, all that type of stuff. So, um, yeah, there's, there's several things that I'm excited to, to work this week. You, I know you said some weeks about you and trying to get better as a team. Can you peek ahead at possible opponents or are you wasting your time there? I mean, what, 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 what's the balance like in trying to maybe figure out what you could be up against, trying to get ahead, and then trying to be smart about it? Yeah, to me, I think it's, it's definitely a balance, right, because you don't want to mentally – I don't want to say overwhelmed, but just take in so much information and, and try to watch, you know, three, four games of, of every potential opponent, and then now you've ultimately wasted a, a bunch of time and, and kind of possibly clouded your head with, with seeing a bunch of defenses that, that you're not going to be playing. So um, for me, it's it's focusing on us, focusing on myself and, and how I can personally get better, focusing on um, our team and, and what we can do to get better. And, um, and getting ready to go. Obviously, you know, Saturday night we might have a little bit better idea, and then after Sunday we'll know for sure, and then it's all in on, on whoever our opponent will be and uh, get ready to go. Right. I believe that the bye week, Brable's 8-0 coming off the bye weeks, um, obviously he knows how to get you guys mentally ready, um, maybe when there is some time off. How big is that just the way he goes about business with you guys as a team, having this break that maybe momentum isn't 
such a big deal that you're you're carrying it into just this week and playing? Do you have a bye week in that? I think he does a good job of of being honest. You know, at, at the end of the day, um, a bye week can be great for you if you take advantage of it in the right way. You know, if you um, use the time to your advantage, then you come ready to go the next week when it's time to, to prepare. And um, I think that's our mindset as a team is to take advantage of this time. And then, you know, once we know who we're playing and, and I can fully come to work next week and, and go all in, we're going to do that and, and be excited to go, you know, win one game. As he sets up a five week schedule and then coming back from the bye, do you think he uses uses maybe the experiences he had as a player and what worked for him to kind of as a, kind of applies it to his coaching method? You have to ask him about that. I don't I don't know. Um, I don't know how he how he comes up with it, but you know, I I know that I've seen it work and that I believe in it and this team believes in it and um, you know, we're excited to have the opportunity. Does he do anything differently than other coaches you've played for in terms of preparation like that? And it's all a blur trying to think back to to past bye weeks now. Um, you know, every, everyone's different. Every coach is, works it a little bit differently. Um, but I think he sets a great tone for us. And then as a locker room, as a team, you know, we believe in it and, and can go all in with it. And as you made, like you had a tight window one to Julio Jones, the uh, third and six, you threw it before he came out the break. And then even the touchdown, back shoulder so he doesn't get blasted. Like, is that kind of a sign of, that chemistry just really starting to peak between you, you and Julio. Yeah, it's it's constantly a work in progress, and uh, you know every rep we get, whether it's out here on the practice field or on Sunday or Saturday, um, possibly, you know, try to bank it away and, and take advantage of it and and uh, and grow from it. So uh, excited at the the growth we've had and and looking forward to continuing it. Ryan, amid all the kind of the ups and downs of, of this season, something Titans coaches and, and players have said about you is just kind of the steadiness that you've always seemed to have. Where where do you think that comes from? Uh, it's something I work really hard, you know, to uh, to be steady. You know, whether whether things are going up or or in a little bit of a lull, just trying to be constant, be be steady, and um, try to come to work each and every day with with a passion, with a, a joy, because I get to do what I love. Um, I love playing football. I love the guys on this team and uh, and the opportunity to go win football games. So, um, you know, whatever outside noise is going on, whatever else has happened, you know, the week before, a couple weeks before, uh, approach each new week with the opportunity that it is, is an opportunity within itself and, and to go lead my team and, and get a win. I know Mike kind of bragged on Ferkser a little bit the other day just about how he's kind of worked to put himself in a position as a better blocker and getting off the maybe a line of scrimmage faster. Have you seen improvement from him in the last month or so? No doubt. You know, I, I love Ferk and he's he's done a lot for us this year. Maybe he hasn't gotten the credit he deserves and, and definitely grown over the past few weeks. You know, we were able to to get him out a little bit uh, this past game and, and he made some huge plays for us over the middle, you know, tough catches through contact and uh, and hold on to the the football for us and, and making big plays. So you combine that with what he's doing for us on third down, uh, being aggressive uh, you know, helping the tackles out and then, you know, being available to uh, to help move the, the chains underneath. You know, he's done a lot of big things for us and, and looking forward to continue. Ryan, official was this, that, uh, uh, from your perspective, does a playoff performance maybe ultimately define a, a quarterback? Well, I don't know. You guys define quarterbacks however you want to. Uh, for, for me, I, I, you know, I think you want to play your best football in, in late in the season into the playoffs. You know, I think I know the reason we play this game is is to go win a championship. That's the reason I play. I'm chasing after it, you know, year after year, day after day, and and trying to do everything I can to to not skip steps in, in getting there. And we have an opportunity here, and you don't want to look past it. Don't want to uh, miss any steps along the way, and, and do everything we can to um, to go win it. Official was that that uh, last game with Julio Ryan because the two previous games really hadn't been much in terms of production for, for him. And you only had that one shot left in the last regular season game. So how beneficial was it to really get a lot of work with him and, and to get him a real productive day, do you think? Yeah, it was exciting to see him go uh, go make some plays for us. You know, I think uh, did some really good things, you know, had some really good routes. And obviously getting him in the end zone with the touchdown was, was huge. Uh, good catch there um, through contact, kind of back shouldered him a little bit. Uh, but had a couple big conversions for us. I think of one on the right side, a third down conversion. Uh, and then a, a play action pass he had on the left side, down the field, good route, uh, easy easy throw and catch there after he, he kind of broke the corner off. So um, some really good things, excited to see, and, and hopefully we can keep it moving forward.
Yeah. But the one, the one deep shot. Uh, sorry, just a quick. Yeah. quick the, the one deep shot. I know it looked like uh, just a little bit off on the deep shot, though. Is, but still, is that encouraging to be able to get those opportunities where he does look like he's a, a deep target that, that's open there? Oh, welcome, Paul. Uh, uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it was a little, uh, you know, frustrating for me because you know you hate missing a guy who's who's open like that and. Uh, uh, it was good to see him, obviously, running like that, getting in, in some space or having a good feel of, of kind of setting up the safety and, and getting there. So uh, excited for the growth, growth there and um, you know, looking forward to, to building on it. Rimmel said Sunday that re when referring to this bye week, he was, him and his staff was going to coach you guys hard, maybe even harder, and then the team will respond. Have you? I know you haven't had practice yet today, but has, has there been a little bit of a difference in, in the tone or attitude, maybe a little harder compared to, to other bye weeks? Coach Rabel's always coaching pretty hard. <laughs> you know, I, uh, that's just his style. You know, he wants he wants us to be great. He wants to do, us to do everything and and hold us accountable as we, you know, move throughout the season. And uh, you know, this week is no different. Coming off a, a, a big win, but there was still a lot of things in this game that that. We didn't do very well, and you know he's there to hold us accountable, help us to to clean those things, see those those mistakes, and be able to to grow from them as we move forward. When you uh, watch the film of the play where you escaped the sack and threw down the field to Nick, did, were you kind of amazed at how you were able to get out of it like that? What was your reaction when you saw it on film? Um, no, not really amazed. You know, just uh, glad I was able to make the play. You know, we were. Kind of on life support at that point, you know, we weren't moving the ball very well offensively. Kind of hit a lull. They were they were scoring on the other side of the ball, and we needed to uh, to respond. So, um, you know, fortunately enough, I was able to to pull through there, and Nick did a good job of, of saving space on the sideline there and getting open for us. So, top ten in third downs, red zone, uh, also uh, first and goal to goal. To do that without Derrick Henry, without Julio Jones at times, AJ Brown at times. What did that say for what? Uh, Todd Downing ha has been able to do with you guys. Yeah, he's done a good job. Obviously, you know, like I mentioned, it's been a uh, an up and down year with guys in and out of the lineup. But no matter who's in there, we'll, we believe that we can find a way to to go make plays and to go win games and you know convert on third downs or score in the red zone. And uh, you know, Todd's done a really good job of of trying to put guys in positions where they can make plays for us. And then ultimately, the guys that we've had in there have made plays. The guys that have playoff experience, and maybe what do you tell some of the guys that have not been through it before, just kind of what to expect? Yeah, it's, it's great to have the experience, right? Because we have a, a bunch of guys that have been here and, and know what these games are about, know that you have to play your best football. You don't come and, and have your best football, there's no do overs. You know, it's not like you get another one next week. You got to come execute, uh, make the plays necessary to win the game, and um, otherwise, you're going home. So. Well, there's a lot on the line, but at the end of the day, it's it's a game. Uh, so don't make it more than it is, but know that you know we have to to play our best ball in order to keep going. I know you may not see defensive coaches at all. I'm just wondering if, if you've seen any bearing from Jim Schwartz uh, on this team from from your perspective. I I wouldn't know. You know, I'm not around the the defensive meeting rooms or anything like that. You know, I, I enjoy talking to him when he's around. Um, obviously. Been around a long time, coached coach some good teams, and, and knows ball. So I uh, enjoy talking with him whenever I get the chance, but I don't know a whole lot about you know, his role and, and what he does over there.